Hey Paula, um, Lucas Wald here. Um, it was good to meet you in in uh, Arkansas, and uh, I'm gonna do a just a brief analysis here, um, and maybe just talk a little bit about an introduction um, to my teaching, my philosophy. Um, and it boils down, Paula, to you know I didn't really even set out to be a golf instructor. I just wanted to figure out. Um, why I could not hit it like the best players in the game and I you know I searched the globe basically to try to find a coach that could say look this is what the best do and this is what you do and they're you know what are the differences and why and so I I couldn't find that I couldn't find a coach or somebody to tell me that so I decided hey I got to be that person I've got to study the best men and women golfers in the swings of the most powerful dominant players throughout the history of the game. And we fortunately live in a time where we have access to YouTube and, and high speed video now. Um, so I could do that. And, um, you know, once all those swings were looked at, um, then I had to figure out if those key elements could be identified and what were they? Could they be oscillated? Um, was there a core set of movement patterns consistent with the best swings? Um, and then once that was determined, you know, could could those movements be trained? And when I look at someone like yourself uh, here on the left and and others, you you have these movements. This was a year and a half ago. Um, there are reasons why you hit it long, you hit it powerfully. Um, so let's see if we can look at a few of those and determine uh, what's changed um, in the swing that I that um, you sent me that's recent. Um, so you on the left here, Sam Snead on the right. So um, again, your what anything that I tell you uh, as far as golf swing mechanics go, the those mechanics will align with the best players. So whether you're talking about Sam Snead or Mickey Wright or Ben Hogan or Louis Suggs um, or McDonald Smith or Harry Varden and even in the, back to the early 1900s, these core movements, the engine of the swing remains and it's consistent with all these greats so you on the left here great engine wide wide takeaway right you're not you're um you're not picking it up you're not setting the wrist early it's a little inside and a little bit up with a com com sorry complete shoulder turn with a little bit across the line so let's look at sam sneed wide a little to the inside um lifts up a little across the line um, so look, you guys are almost identical here. He's got a little bit larger shoulder turn because his right leg is a little bit more extended, which you could do. I mean, you're more in flexion here. You, you keep the hips stable, whereas he allows the, the left knee to come in behind the ball, left heel in the air, which does give a little longer backswing. But, you know, given the position at the top there, I mean, you're a little across the line. It's upright, a little inside off the takeaway. I mean, that's you and Sneed, one of the best of all time, looking um, spot on. And, and on the downswing, you flatten it nicely, you drop down both legs in flexion, and you what? Rotate to impact aggressively through the strike. Let's take you one more frame. Let's uh, take Sneed down. He flattens, drops down, both legs in flexion, and then um, rotates. So there's you at impact, um, fully rotated. There's Sneed. Look, I can see the left leg visible. The hips are completely rotated. The thoracic spine here is completely visible. Right shoulder moving around. Look, Pollock, all the way rotated around. Left leg visible. Thoracic spine completely rotated. Right shoulder covering it. I mean, it's a pretty awesome impact position. So if you look at, you know, how about uh, So Yun Yu just won this week. Um, new world number one. Let's take her up to the top flattens, rotates around. I mean, that's um, that's you guys at impact. Left leg visible, thoracic spine visible, hips fully rotated, right shoulder covering it. She cut, it's, you know, through the hitting area. She's one of the best at continuing rotation all the way through the strike. Club face stays very stable. Um, you know, there's, there's reasons why she's a really, really good ball striker. Um, you know, um, again, we could use a number of players. I have J.B. Holmes I could show you, um, Mickey Wright. We could use others. I'm not going to go through them, but they all do this. Now, if you look at the swing that you sent 
yesterday, I think it was. Let me zoom in here. Okay, there are there are some differences. So I'm not sure why. So again, I would I would say whoever your coach is, I'm like, why? Why are we doing this? Why are we going? Why are we lifting it up and to the outside now with early wrist hinge? That's not what I did here a year and a half ago when I was, you know, top 15 in, in driving distance. Um, now, now again, you know, I looked up your stats. I know maybe there's not been enough recorded drives this year, but you're down 12 to 15 yards, 10 to 15 yards right now. Um, in distance, um, and you know, it's important because, you know, even on the PGA Tour, if we don't have this on LPGA Tour, sadly, but on the PGA Tour, an extra 20 yards of distance increase equates to 0.75 strokes a round. So over four rounds, that's what, three strokes. So an extra 20 yards. So again, I mean, I'm not all about just distance, but giving up right now for you 12 or 15 yards, that's a lot. And maybe there's a reason why. Maybe it's confidence, but maybe it could be technique. So, you you know, again, you're lifting it up and out, early wrist set, you know, and the backswing is different. It's up, You're up to the top. It's, it's flatter. Um, yeah, it's slightly longer, but the face is slightly more open. Um, your, your hands are a little bit lower um you know let's take you back up to this top of the backswing you know you were wide on the backswing it was a little inside and then it was up and lifted so it's higher hands here on the left um it's a little across the line which if you look at greg norman tiger woods jb holmes bubba watson i mean great drivers are typically a little bit across the line so trying to get a perfect position at the top i mean why not look at what the best have done so you're up to the top here on the left perfect this one uh, i'm not it's not as good <laughs> it's not as classic and then on the downswing at the one on the left you're really completely rotated this one on the right you'll see coming down you stand up a little bit more so spine's an extension here it's like it's like this that's extension and then when you by the time you get to impact you're gonna see you know I know you have the the um, uh, rain pants on but still you can see the one on the right here you're more returning to an impact to a closer position that you you know like you were at address uh, um, it's less rotation um, I, I don't see the left leg as visible um, I don't see as much of your middle spine so this one on the left, we talked about, we used So Yun Yu, we used Sam Sneed, a complete rotation with left leg visible. Um, this one, yeah, I can see the left leg a little, but not much. And then you can see how the middle part is not rotated either. So then you tend to what? Chase the line more. You have more club face rotation. Um, the arms straighten. And then you bring in, you know, um, some inconsistency off the tee. Um, you know, that's like uh, if you look at somebody like Jim Furyk, for example, who is one of the best iron players in the world. He has a slow closure rate coming through the hitting area. So that's what we want. We want to be able to have club face stability. And how do we do that, Paula? We do that with great rotation, spine inflection. That's what the best have done. And this one on the right, it's less rotary. It's less dynamic in general. So um, my advice would be study some of your old swings, video it, send me some more. Let's see if we can trend you back in the direction that you were a year and a half ago um, when it was much more rotary, much more powerful. Um, and then go from there. So, I mean, I can see clearly that your driver swing has changed. Um, so I guess you need to maybe question and say, why? Why have I made these changes? What what benefit is this going going to uh, have in my uh, in my driving ability which you said obviously you've been struggling with so uh, let me know what you think on this um, definitely can get you back in this uh, swing here on the left and uh, hopefully driving the ball much longer and much straighter Paula so talk to you soon thanks again